Um, uh, over the last few days, several people have come to me asking me, so I'm Eric Engstrom, I'm the, one of the two Mesa release maintainers. And over the last few days, several people have come to me asking me uh, what I actually do as a release maintainer and how much work that is. And it sounds like people are interested in knowing more about that, so I figured I would explain a little bit. And please come to me if you have any questions, if you're interested in doing this. Um, <clears throat> so, what we're talking about is uh, the Mesa releases. So, the development model is roughly that the devs work on the main branch. I mean, they work on their own branch, but then they merge that into the main branch. Um, some of those commits are bug fixes and are tagged as such. And then some magic happens, and in the end, uh, the users get every two weeks the latest batches of fixes, and every three months, all the new features. So there's a bit of magic in the middle. What is it? So from the release maintainer's point of view, so the commits uh, get tagged by the devs. We have a tool called PickUI that gathers all the commit. The, so that's a tool that we wrote um, that gathers all the commits figures out which ones are relevant and uh, so relevant for the, the, the old branch that we're looking at and uh, presents us with a TUI, so a terminal, um, to do the pack ports. From there, we pick the commits one by one. Uh, we do some fix-ups if, if that's needed, uh, which is rare just after the branch point because the, it hasn't diverged yet, but the longer you wait, uh, the more the code needs to be fixed up. Like, the code that moved around or a helper that was added that didn't exist yet or things like that or renames like near dev or stuff like that. Um, and if we can't do that, then we ask the original dev to... Sorry. Um, we ask the original dev for help. And once um, that's done, we do a local build to to test that it actually works on our own machine, uh, enabling all the drivers for the build, but some of the drivers don't build on ARM, for instance, which is my machine. Um, and if it works locally, so we do that uh, for all the, the commits, and if it works locally after a bunch of commits, usually I do 20 to 30 commits uh, per, per batch. Um, uh, we push them on the, um, the staging branch, so staging slash x dot y, and doing that triggers the, the CI. And the CI is the main tool of the release uh, maintainer because you can't test yourself on all the, the hardware. So we send it to the CI, wait a few hours because it takes a very long time. And um, if it fails, uh, then we have to figure out the, the problem which might need, so we have job logs and like sometimes it's easy to figure out what went wrong or at least what commit is the, the guilty one. But if we can't, we might need to bisect, which means just um, doing a subset of the, the commits and sending that to the CI. And again, waiting a few hours to, to get the results back. Um, and yeah, same, if we can't figure it out, we ask the original devs again. Um, and once everything looks good uh, and it's the, the scheduled time for a release, then we do we use the xorg release.sh scripts, which is actually used by a lot more projects than just the xorg project. And so that creates the tarball that's uploaded on the website and signs it. Uh, we push the, the, the x.y branch, so not the staging one. And we send an announcement email to say that the new release is available. So the question, again, that was asked is how much work that is. That depends. So I do that two to three times a week um, to not, because obviously the longer you wait, the more you have to do. And like I mentioned, batches, if they're small, it's much easier to, to bisect if you need to do that. And so just after the branch point, it's roughly like so two to three times a week. Uh, 15 to 30 minutes um, and when the release drags on like the, the last one and you have to do point releases a lot, it ends up being maybe one or two hours, uh, two to three times a week. So it can become uh, a lot um, in, in the end. And yes, you can help, please help. If there's anyone interested in doing this, uh, I didn't paint a very nice picture, but to be realistic, it does take time. 
And if anyone's interested, please reach out to me. Uh, Dylan is probably also um, available for questions, but yeah, ask me if you want to know more. Thank you.